Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I feel like it's been forever since I filmed the video. Um, part of that is because I got sick and <coughs> got stuck with a cough, which I am still getting over a little bit, so I apologize in advance for coughing. Um, for the most part it's gone, but anyway, so that happened a couple weeks ago and then we had um, some family visit before then, and anyways, it's been busy, and I've been working on some art and personal projects, so I have still been creative, and I will show you at the end of this video what art projects I've been working on for anyone who's interested in that. I will show the finished coloring pages first, though, um, it's really sad. I only have <laughs> several to show you, um, just because I've you know, I've been so focused on creating some art things and working on, <clears throat> excuse me, some collections and, um, yeah. So I do, um, have, I mean, things should be a lot more laid back now, not as intense. Um, so I should have more time opened up to coloring again, um, and because I've been wanting to color, but part of me has been like in this weird limbo of what do I want to color, how do I want to color it, and anyways, so yeah. So these pages are from the last couple months. Um, a few completed pages and mostly whips, um, but to start off, let's dive into Chibi. Uh, from co the Coloring Heaven collection by Jash Lee, which I fell in love with right away, so obviously had to get it. Um, I did this page of the Cyclops. I think the last video I showed it was a work in progress. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, but I just realized I forgot to do a couple little details, but they're small enough that it, like, doesn't take away from the picture. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun working on this one. Um, it is done with Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils, so you get that really nice crinkle. I love that. I love that sound. It's like addicting. <laughs> anyway, so that was really fun and, um, just, um, happy to work on it. Um, Ladies of Leisure, I can't remember if I showed this work in progress or not, so I'm showing it again. Um... I got stuck because I couldn't decide what color to do her hair. I had this idea, though, to do all of their hair, like different types of red. Um, so I don't know if I'll go with that, or if you have an idea of what color I should do her hair, let me know in the comments because I really want to finish this page because I think it's really pretty. So far, I only have an alcohol marker base. Um, which I think like this part of the dress only needs like a little bit, like there's not very much shading that needs to be done. It already looks so good. Anyways, so that's what I have in Ladies of Leisure. And then in, what month is it? Winter month or April? March. Um, I did my very first color along uh, and it was so fun. Um, Elm Colors reached out and she said, hey, do you want to do a color along? And I was like, yes! I've never done one before, so, um, yeah. So she picked the book and then several pages to pick from and then I picked out of those pages. So, the page that we ended up doing is this Sleeping Beauty Wave page. And, sorry about the lighting. I can only film at night just because of my son, my baby's sleeping situation. So I apologize about that too. But I used my Fine Tech watercolors to add like these silvery and gold details. And then I believe I used alcohol marker and then Prismacolor on top of that. Um, I don't think I used any polychromos, because the texture looks very Prismacolor. But I realized after everything was said and done, I forgot to do any shading on her dress. 
it's like, oh, how could I forget that? Um, but yeah, this is my version, and then Elm Colors did her version, and hers turned out so pretty. She did like a half blue, half pink dress, which I thought was a really clever idea. Um, anyways, I will, if I remember, I will link her channel below. Um, so that's in The Fantastic Worlds of Brother Grimm by Forrest Diver. And then the, I started a whip. This is in my t um, 10 books I want, 10 untouched books I wanted to color in. So I started. It's like, you know what? I'm not even going to try to make it look like Kincaid's. Like, I'll still use it for color inspiration, but I'm not going to make it look like an exact copy of it because that would just take too much time and fun out of it for me. So, I did my fair share of artist copies in college and high school. Anyways, yeah, so I'm really happy with how the grass is looking. Um, this is Ink Tense, I believe. And yeah, I'm excited to get that one done. And then, I still need to do a flip through of this. I'm sure everyone's seen a flip through already, though. I was a little out of the loop for a while in the coloring world. Um... I just, yeah, so I didn't realize this was out until I did see somebody post a flip through and I think it was, who was it, Pebbles Coloring. I saw her flip through and my jaw dropped and I was like, I need this book. And apparently it was like just barely released in the US when I saw that video. So, um, I drove to Walmart because I was going to buy it online on Amazon and then I was like, wait. The likelihood of our Walmart having it is very high because, <laughs> I mean, we have, where I live, there's like three super centers within 15 minutes of our house. So, the chances of me being able to find a copy of this is pretty high. <laughs> oh, and I, I mean, we all know how much it costs, so I don't need to take that sticker off. But, anyways, so I drove to the store, I bought this, I came home, I colored a page, I messed up on the page but I still really like it and I started another page um this was like a week after Easter I think. yeah so this is the first page that I did um I messed up a little bit on the background but I still really like it I wanted it to feel like this old papery kind of like you know how you like stick um flowers into an old book you know that's like romantic using a pressed flower as a bookmark or pressing flowers in books. So that's kind of the concept I was going for. And then the quote says, it's a little planet, but how beautiful it is. And then I just repeated that through the whole thing and I messed up in places. Um, but I think that kind of adds to the charm of it a little bit. And then, yeah, I just kept it really simple. I think, I, yeah, I used ink tents and poly Romos for the flowers um but yeah i kind of did like this blue house red roof red house blue roof blue house red roof so it's like there's variety but i still like tied together because sometimes i get caught up in wanting to make everyone different and detailed and i was like i need to get this done i want to i want to I just was so excited about coloring it, and I might dare say this is one of my favorite Johanna Basford books. It is so beautiful and cute. Anyways, so I did start another page, and this was right after Easter, and I saw this video of the, oh, I forgot the exact term, but they're like the Russian eggs, Easter eggs, um, and so I was very inspired by the design of the video that I watched. So I was like, I'm going to make it look like one of these um, beautiful Russian eggs. Or I guess it's a Czech. Is it Czech? Oh, no. Sorry, I'm so bad with names. But, um, yeah, these beautiful eggs. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm trying to decide what I want to do with this one. Whether I want to, like, make it black and red and yellow or all one color or kind of what to do and then 
probably paint this part of the background black so we can have this beautiful contrast here and it should be pretty easy to do that since it's a pretty simple shape to paint around it um but yeah so that's kind of my idea for this one and then i saw that circle of life because i've been keeping an eye on this one because i saw it was released in the uk and i was like okay i've got to watch for this one and the date was released i happened to be at walmart and or no i saw it was released and i had it in my cart and then i went to walmart i was like you know what i'm just gonna go look at the coloring book see if they have anything in and i saw this and i did a double take i was like yes please so this one is really pretty um it is a coloring book by mel pomini chetsipendiotu and I probably butchered that, and if I said something terrible, I apologize. But I started this page right here. Um, Polychromos. Um, I still have, like, leaves in this part to do, obviously. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to make the leaves, like, look like fall foliage or, you know, spring foliage. Um, since it's kind of like this circle of life with like the water is raining on the flowers um, But yeah Let me know what you think should I do fall foliage like their brown and orange or should I do green? Um, yeah, and I, I'm excited to cover the rest of this and see how it's finished I really love the line work in this book. I think it's really pretty. Um, yeah. So that's everything that I colored for the past couple months. I'm hoping to have more in upcoming months, especially because I have... I need to film another coloring book haul soon. I've acquired a few more books. Um, nothing too crazy, but yeah. And then... I did say that I was going to share the other projects that I was working on, so if you are only here for coloring, cool. And if you keep watching, awesome. Oh, also, before I go into the next phase, hello and thank you to all of my new and old subscribers. You mean the world. It's awesome. Um, you're awesome. And, um, anyways, so... I have a lot of stuff to show you, so let's just get right into it. Um, let's see, this is kind of distracting. Um, yeah, I've just been very pulled very many different directions the past few months. That's my own doing, though. Um, so anyways, I designed these notebook and I will have my Etsy linked below if anyone's interested. But, I have designed this daily tracker notepad. The paper is really nice. Um, but it's like a 50 page notepad. And it's like, um, kind of like an at a glance for, um, like, if you want to do journaling or mindfulness or just like habit tracking. So I have vitamins, meds, fitness, rate your mood. A spot for gratitude, your top to do, your meals, and then water intake. And then this quote says, Your day doesn't have to be perfect for it to be wonderful. Um, and I had so much fun designing this. Um, but I felt like I needed something with a little more punch for somebody who might have, um, might want a little bit more structure. <laughs> Um, cause I think this is really great for at a glance and like minimal planning and mindfulness and habit tracking. Anyways, so I did that one and then I did this one, which is something that I've been like thinking about for a long time. Um, I called it the mommy log and this is basically a mom command center almost, um, where we have mom care. So taking care of yourself, mom time, self-care, um, mindfulness, go outside, because sometimes we forget to do that. Spirituality, whether you're religious or not, um, and then hygiene, because 
I have noticed that a lot of young moms, like myself, think that self-care and hygiene fall under the same basket, and they shouldn't. Um, anyways, and then I have a place to track food, so like if you want to count calories, you can. And then fruits and vegetables you can cross off, and water also. And then this is reminders for like any appointments that you want to remember. And then, sorry the lighting makes this horrible to read, but this is fitness. You can write down what you did, how much time. And then this is for like more like family stuff. So we have some um, like things that you just have to do every day or almost every day that um, are just good reminders. Um, and then this one is for like customizing what your daily to do is for what you want to do. So like outside of daily chores. So this would be like... If you need to walk the dog every day, you can write walk the dog or, you know, whatever. Um, and then this one, very important. Today I'm proud of. Um, because I feel like as moms we beat ourselves up so much. Um, so to remember the things and reflect on the things that we're proud of, I think is important. Anyways, so that also is 50 sheets. This one is 5 by 7 So yeah, I... I've also been working on some other notepad designs, but I'm holding off on like actually putting them to print until <laughs> these ones actually gain traction because um can't spend all your money on stuff <laughs> if it's not selling. Um anyways. <laughs> um so I have so so much fun and I do want to make one for dads too. Um but anyways, so those are some notepads that I've been working on and then um, I was working on a mental health sticker, or, yeah, collection, um, because that to me is very extremely important, and I feel like as part of the coloring and art community, like, you guys understand, um, mental health, like, a lot of us color as ways to deal with anxiety and other health. Um, anyways, so, um, I put... A lot of heart into this and uh yeah i titled it my love letter like it's my love letter to you anyone who is struggling with um, any form of mental illness or even chronic illness um so <laughs> with that being said i did these band-aids this one oh, i wish the lighting was better but this one says, be kind to your mind, and it's got all of these brains. Like, I even have, a, even have a lamp, and it's not doing much. Um, it says, be kind to your mind, and it's got these brains on it. <laughs> um, this one was the first one that I did for the collection. Not all scars are visible. Like, because I feel like we all deal with things that are personal, or we don't want to talk about, or we have things in the past that... Um, yeah, we have to deal with. Anyways, sorry, I got really serious all of a sudden. And this one says, it hurts. Um, for like chronic illness or mental illness or depression. This one, I need some space, please. This cute little, uh, glow, uh, oh my gosh, planet. <laughs> it's a cute little planet who's a little sad and just needs some space. And then... I have two versions of this one. So I hear you, I see you, I care, which I think is really important for everyone to hear. Um, just like that validation. And then I have one that says, keep going. Um, this one says, glad you're here. I think this one's really cute. And then I have this one, which is pretty deep. Um, you can interpret it how you like, how I interpret it is, um, like we cry and that's a good thing. Like it's okay to feel sad. Um, and sometimes we don't see the beautiful flowers. Um, but like in order to have these beautiful flowers and to be able to have beauty in our life, we have to, you know, experience things that are hard and that are sad. Um. Otherwise, we wouldn't know what is beautiful. And <laughs> super philosophical. 
<laughs> and then, um, I really like this one. It's really simple, but I think it says a lot. Um, it says, feelings noting. Please wait. Um, because, yeah. Sometimes you just gotta process emotions and, like, have time to be in the zone. Anyway, so those are the stickers in that collection. And then I have some pins. So this one says stay and it's a semicolon. Um, it's because that's a symbol for taking a pause instead of ending a story or a sentence. This one says anxiety isn't on purpose. Um, because some people don't understand that. And then therapy is cool. Invisible illness club for mental illness and chronic illness. And, um, another I'm glad you're here, um, which I think is really cute. Um, but yeah, so I, um, really, um, put a lot of heart into that collection. And the reason that I, you know, was working so hard on it is because May is Mental Health Awareness Month. So that was kind of like, I was pushing myself to get this ready for this month. Um... And then some other stickers. So I have this dinosaur T-Rex. It says always hangry. Because I feel like whenever I get mad, it's because I'm hangry. <laughs> so yeah. Cute little pink cranky dinosaur. And then another... So for anyone who's been following my channel, you know I published a 50 States coloring book. Let me see. I have it right here, actually. So it's this one, and it's got all 50 states in it. And one of my goals was to finish this at the, by the end of this year. So in a way, technically, I have, but also I haven't. I haven't finished the book, but I have digitally colored every single state and turned it into a sticker. And I'm really proud that I was able to get it done. Because for a while, it felt like there was no end in sight. And then I just got, like, got this really big push and motivation to get it done. So I do want to show you because it kind of correlates with the rest of this channel. Um, and I'm just really excited. And I hope that if any of you do have that color book, these can give you kind of color ideas if you're feeling stuck. So here's Arkansas. And this is not going to pick up very well on camera because it's just very pastel um this is quartz Let's see if i can get it to nope it's not gonna it's not gonna cooperate oh there we go so this is what did i say it was crystal quartz which is um arkansas it's their stone we're known for having that kind of formation so, there's that. Here's Florida, which... Oh, there we go. It's really cute. And I'm really sad because the camera's just not picking up the detail that these stickers have. Um, they look way better in person, I promise. That's Florida. This one is Alaska. Now, this one is different than in the coloring book. In the coloring book, I did salmon. Um, but I just felt like it wasn't working for the sticker. So, I did the northern lights. And I think it's perfect. It turned out awesome. Here we have Delaware, which is these cute ladybugs and strawberry. And you, oh man, I wish you guys could see the detail. Oh. If you go to my Etsy, just for the sake of even just seeing how these pictures, pictures stickers look like in a picture versus on in this terrible lighting. Um, yeah, this is Georgia. I really think Georgia turned out super cute. Um, now, what's funny is the stickers that I colored prior match pretty closely to um, what I had colored before. It's kind of funny. Like, I didn't really intend to do that, but it just kind of happened. Like, here, like, here's Colorado. It's just so funny how, like, unintentionally I colored them exactly how I colored them in the coloring book. Yeah, here's Georgia. We got these. It's a little bit different, but 
I just thought it was so funny. Anyways, I'm getting off track. I have a lot of stickers to go through. Here's Colorado. Uh, we have Connecticut. Look at that cute whale. Um, this is Kentucky with black eyes, I think. And then this is Alabama, the heart of the South. That's why there's hearts. Because it's like in the middle of the South. Um, Arizona. I think Arizona turned out really cool. These lizards have really cool texture on. And then we have Beloved California. Look at that. Those beautiful poppies. Um, this is Wyoming. I really like Wyoming. Those two tones. Oh, I miss the mountains. Um, some of these, like this one, I need to make bigger. Um, but this one is West Virginia. Isn't that flower pretty? I think that one's so pretty and dainty and beautiful. Here's New York. Uh, we have Virginia. The swallowtail butterfly. Uh, Wisconsin cheese state. I tried to make it look like sophisticated cheese instead of like cheesy cheese. <laughs> um, here we have Washington. Uh, I really like the design on Washington. Two, here's Tennessee. Uh, here we have Vermont. I think you've seen some of these because I've had them done for a while. Here's Nevada. I think I love the color scheme on Nevada. It's like super... Like desert camo, which is great because Area 51 is in Nevada, right? Here's South Dakota. I love the trees on this thing. Um, we have Montana with these rocks and flowers. And New Jersey. I think New Jersey turned out so cute. These blueberries. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> oh, and Nebraska. Nebraska! Look at that. It's like picnic and core <laughs> and then oh i love new hampshire too um here let's see if i can get that to focus there we go new hampshire reminds me of fall and then missouri there's ice cream state if you're not from missouri and you were wondering so also i did a poll to ask what favorite ice creams were and mint chocolate chip was the top poll <laughs> consensus on all the platforms I asked. Here's Texas. It's like a quilt and then like a rodeo thing and then a longhorn. And then here's Utah, which is a little busy, but I mean, it's Beehive State and they're busy bees. Here's Minnesota. Look at those beautiful apples. Look at them apples. Okay, this one turned out really cool. Massachusetts. This is a non-venomous snake. It's like a garter snake or something. Um, but it still looks cool. And then here's Michigan. I think this one turned out really pretty. And Maryland. Maryland turned out way better. I was nervous how Maryland was gonna print out. But when I printed it, I was like, oh, this is magic. And there's the crab, blue crab, I think. And then Pennsylvania. This was one of the early ones. Chocolate chip cookies. If you're from Pennsylvania, let me know. Is that really a big deal? Chocolate chip cookies? <coughs> Here's Louisiana. Um, and then here's Kansas. I think Kansas is so cute. Pretty. Oklahoma is another favorite. I think this one turned out really cool. It is the... Um, yeah. Here's Oregon. I don't know if you can tell, but these are shells. It's kind of hard to tell in the light. Uh, here's South Carolina. I want to make this one a little bit bigger too, but it's not so pretty. Mm. And then here's Rhode Island. Cool anchor. And the blue part looks oceany. Um, here's Maine. The corn. I I mean, Maine is known for seafood and chowder. And, yeah. And then New Mexico. I love the, how New Mexico turned out, too. 
which is really cool. It has that like tile vibe that I was going for. And this is the yucca. And then we have North Dakota, which is really cute. There's Ohio with the buckeyes, chestnuts. Here's North Carolina, known for fishing. Uh, Iowa, with sweet cake. Idaho, this one was super intimidating, super fun. Um, it's the gem state, so gems. <laughs> um, here's Hawaii. It was really fun to do Hawaii. Oh. And then here's Illinois. With the red turtle. I don't know if you can tell, but like on the show, there's some red. Yeah, you can tell. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Uh, and Indiana. Now, I lost count. I don't know if I got all 50 states in that pile. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I've been working on for the past few months. And I'm like, okay, I need to <laughs> sit back a little bit, just work on fine-tuning these things now and, like, the listings and, um, you know. Also, I'm working on my children's book, but that one's a lot more laid back. Um, so anyways, I hope <laughs> that you were inspired by something in this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for my giveaway, which will be posted soon after this video. And um, I hope to see you next time. Happy coloring!